Hey guys, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Thanks for continuing with my vectors lessons. And what we're going to do today is talk about how to find a vector joining two vectors from the same origin. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw a Cartesian plane. And then what I'm going to do is draw two vectors coming out from the origin. So let's draw a vector over here and let's draw a vector over here. Okay, just imagine that they're both coming from the origin as I said before. Okay, so let's call this vector A on the right and vector B on the left and let's say vector A is going from the origin to 8 2 so that point there is 8 2 and this point here is negative 3 and let's say 5 And what we're trying to find is the vector going from A to B. Okay, so I want to know what this vector is. And I'm going to write it with a different color. So let's call this vector C. And the question is we want to find vector C uh, write your answer as a position vector so in other words we want to know vector C equals something I something I plus something J. Okay, so see if you can do that and come back when you're done. Okay, so the first, the easiest way, if you guys remember, is just to do it using the method we discussed from the last tutorial. Okay, so because we're starting from this point, and we're trying to get to this point so vertically from the starting point to the end point we're moving up we're going up by um, from 2 to 5 which is 3 units so it's going to be so vector C is going to be three units in the y-axis and we're going from this point to this point we're going to the left by 8 plus 3 which is 11 units to the left so negative 11 so that's easy that's pretty easy just by looking at it you can figure it out now if you want a more systematic way uh, from the last tutorial you would remember that if we want to go from point so the first point um, A is 8 and 2 and point B is negative 3 and 5 then vector A to B is equal to and all you do is you get the corner the x corner of B minus the x corner of A so negative 3 minus 8 and the y corner is 5 minus 2 so 
sorry I should have used curly brackets there so the answer is negative 11 3 okay so that's how you do it and uh, so let's fill that in here negative 11 and 3 now let's talk about how this works now if you have two vectors coming out from the origin let's say this is vector A and this is vector B then if you're going from the head of vector A towards head of vector B then this vector is actually the same thing as vector B minus vector A okay so that's what we have already calculated because if you have a look vector B is negative 3 5 right vector B is negative 3 and 5 vector A is 8 2 so B minus A is therefore um, let's use the equal sign B minus A is therefore negative 11 3 which is what we have same as vector C so why does that work because if you think about it this way we have minus a so if I reverse the vector a okay if I reverse this then I would be going so if I start over here let's let's start somewhere else okay and if I go minus a so I start over here and let me just copy this vector okay so I start over here and I reverse the direction of this Ro uh, ro rotate oh no flip doesn't work rotate left 45 oh, I should have just rotated 90 okay so I started over here and I go left so this vector here is negative a and then I copy vector B and I put it at the end of vector negative a so I put it over here okay so this is vector B then this vector that is joining the tail of vector negative a to vector b using vector addition it's this vector plus this vector so therefore this vector is equal to negative vector a plus vector b which is the same as vector v vector b minus a okay so that's the geometric definition of how this works okay now similarly if I wanted to reverse the direction so if I have vector A over here and vector B over here and I want to go from the head of vector B all the way back to the head of vector A then this would be A minus B okay because if you imagine vector B going the opposite way so if I have minus B then this will be going that way instead of that way Okay, it'll be going this way minus B plus A and then this vector here will then be this vector here will then be negative B plus A 
right negative B going down here plus a so going this way so then the result is going this is the resultant vector which is negative B plus a which is the same as a minus B okay thanks for watching guys see you next time